of unbiased data automatically implemented in the system. At the end of the discussion, I read the AI-generated report together with the patient. That's the really engagement of the I read it with the patient. Is it true? We're still at the ESC Digital and AI Summit. And a unique aspect of this summit is that it brings together clinicians, technicians and patients. With the main question, what is the future of AI in cardiology? So we've just had a very exciting debate and the word disruption came up quite a bit. And the question is, when is this disruption going to happen? And, and how are we going to stay in control of this disruption? It's going to happen very, very soon. The disruptive elements of digitalization and artificial intelligence are visible at the horizon. They're coming up very, very soon. That's why it's so important that we, we meet here at the ESC AI Summit to discuss this item, to be prepared and to give the benefits of digitalization and artificial intelligence to the patients and to the citizens, to our societies. I'm not sure, but maybe it's already out of control. And this is something that we discussed that as the ESC, European Society of Cardiology, and we as physicians need to gain control over it again and find frameworks to assess AI and its benefits for the patient and then to lead to a proper implementation in clinic. What well, first way it affects me is understanding that disruption is often a good thing rather than a bad thing. Disrupting traffic is a bad thing. Disrupting the world of medicine might just be a good thing. AI is really interesting. I hadn't realized just how much improvements it could bring to a healthcare system in terms of waiting lists, arranging appointments, and so on. Cutting down the amount of time you're actually spending in a hospital but also how far we ahead we are with things like imaging, using AI to assess images, and how far we still have to go in trusting AI in other areas, particularly rare diseases, rare heart situations, where we may not have enough information or enough clinical trials for evidence for AI to actually make a considered balanced judgment. With these very valuable insights, we wrap up a very interesting first day of the ESC Digital and AI Summit.